The US elections are about to close. Let's make a voting system in Python that is super secure. <laughs> Let's do it. So this is what we're gonna be making. It basically just asks you Biden or Trump. You can put in any two values here that you want. You could put in uh, Pokemon or Digimon in case you're from the 90s, or you can put in something that's more relevant. It's totally up to you. And then if we type in anything we want, like Biden, it will actually record the vote. And then if we look at our votes TXT file, we can see that it actually recorded the vote. And this will record no matter who answers the question as long as they follow the link. Let's get started. First thing that we need to do is get some input from the user. So I'm gonna go ahead and store that as a vote variable. Um, we're grabbing some input. Um, super simple question, just Biden or Trump. This absolutely doesn't take any uh, debates, which are just two old people yelling at each other or anything like that. Uh, but this vote variable is gonna store the answer that the user types in to this question. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do what's called normalizing it. So if they enter in an upper or lowercase b or t or they um, do it all caps or all lowercase, we wanna make sure that the if statement catches all of those variations without having to put ors in there. So check this or this or this or this. No, let's just normalize it so that no matter what the user enters in, that gets the same value out. So normalized underscore vote, this is gonna be that vote variable, and then we're just gonna do dot upper. This function in Python just makes every single letter in that string uppercase. It's that simple. So now normalized vote is actually what we're tracking. We're no longer tracking vote, we're tracking the uppercase all caps version of vote. And then let's go ahead and let's create a new file. So I'm gonna add a file here. I'm gonna call this votes.txt. .txt is important. We want this to be a text file. Now that I've created this file, you can see it's completely empty. Back in here, let's go ahead and open that file up. So we're gonna do votes underscore file. This is just a variable name. This is gonna store the opened file. And we're gonna set that equal to the open function. This takes a couple of parameters. The first one is the actual name of the text file, which is votes.txt. The second parameter takes in the mode that we're opening it in. I almost always use A, because that allows us to read and write to the file. So now that we have those two parameters, you can research the rest of them, but we're not going to use them here. Now let's go ahead and do some if statements. So we're gonna say if normalized vote happens to be Biden, remember in this if statement, we're gonna put in the all capped version of the word because that is what we're actually uh, measuring. Now we can print out something like uh, your vote has been recorded just so that they know, yep, I, I saw you, you've, you've, been, you've been heard. And then we're going to write their choice to the file. So we're gonna do votes underscore file dot write. So that write function is again a built-in function in Python. And we're gonna write the word Biden comma and then a space. It will actually write out everything that you put in these quotes. Um, so I went ahead and included a comma and a space to make my file more legible, but you don't have to. You can be a terrible monster and just put in the letters or a B or a T, whatever you want. You could also just write out normalized vote here. So you're not actually writing the text, but I wanted to show you another instance. Here we go. Now we're gonna do an LF. An LF says, this thing is false. Let's check another one. So we don't wanna put two if statements because those will actually be disjointed. We want an if, elif, 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 for all the other choices we're checking, and then an else at the end to catch whatever other garbage we have. So we do that same normalized vote. This time we're checking for Trump. Go ahead and put that colon in here, and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did for Biden. And if you wanna rig the election, you just leave it just like this. But if you want it to actually be a true vote, there we go. Now we're gonna type in an else. This is gonna catch all the other garbage that a user could have possibly put in there. And it just says, this is not a valid choice. Please, please do something correctly. 
And the most important part is at the very, very bottom, we need to close the file we have opened. So we have this file that we've opened. If we don't close it, then the vote never actually gets written to the file. Closing it says, we're done writing, you're good to go. Let's go ahead and run it and try it out. We hit run here, Biden or Trump. I type in uh, Biden with a capital B, but a lowercase rest of letters. It says your vote has been recorded. I come back to my votes file and there it is. It's been written to the file. All right, so you can keep track of this. We can go into more detail if you want on how to actually count up those votes at the end, but this code right here will get you a working voting system. Now we just need to sell this to the US government for hundreds of millions of dollars.